everybody it is April and I'm in my craft room today I just wanted to have a little chit chat take a little time to sit down and collect my thoughts about the next projects that I want to work on and what I have going on now I thought I would tell you what I was working on and maybe you can say oh yeah I would like to see that or no I'm not at all interested in that please don't do a video on it so I just finished another three yard quilt and actually I've got a couple blocks here I did two I end up doing two on most of them simply because I mess up the first one and then figure out what I did wrong and I fix it and I have two by the time I'm done so here's one of the blocks and here is another block and the one that I finished is very green very green because the border that I chose was green and there is already a lot of green so I thought what I might do and this purple in this block right here it's hard to match I think but I had this in my stash and I think that I like it with this it's almost a red purple which is also I think what's in the block to begin with and then this would be the other block so I believe what I'm going to do on the second quilt that I haven't obviously put together yet is I'm going to use that purpley per that red purple purple red as a border on the outside I just had a thought maybe I should put it in between like a sashing and then do a small border and then do another small border in this dark green there's hair flying in this dark green here so that's just a thought I just thought I would share that with you all because like I said that that quilt was green it was green I'm also working on my other the Valentine Day quilt or Valentine's quilt which it's hearts they're appropriate all year long but the Valentine quilt that I made and I am free motion quilting it now I have minky on the back and that minky makes my quilting look good let me show you I just happen to be sitting at my machine so if you look you can see my quilting and it's like wow and I am not doing anything in particular I am just this is kind of a practice where I just start doing swirls and then I do a paisley and I try to incorporate in each block something different something that maybe I haven't done before or maybe something that I have done before that I want to perfect I've, I've done uh, one block with a feather in it and so I'm just having fun with it but I do I like the minky back it makes the quilt soft on the back and mm, my husband he's all about the soft quilt so at some point he's gonna want one of these with the minky backing let's see I've got a list my next three yard quilt I want to do friends I love friends friends Barbie both love them I actually have some Barbie fabric that I want to do a, a quilt with as well but I found this fabric at Joann's so this would be oh and I want to apologize I did not say which fabric was which in my last video I didn't say okay this is fabric one and this is fabric two and this is fabric three and if you don't know what I'm talking about when you make a three yard quilt by Donna Roberson <laughs> I, I edited it out but I called her Linda in the video it's like I'm, I'm bad about that I call people by the wrong name all the time but I lost my train of thought oh I didn't say what which fabric was which and I think that it was kind of confusing so I th believe what I'm going to do is this is going to be fabric one for my next three yard quilt this is going to be fabric two and this will be fabric three 
I'm really looking forward to that. I thought that I'd picked out which pattern I was going to use, which three yard quilt pattern, but I just discovered these are both directional. And the pattern that I chose, this would be fine directional, but the other one wouldn't be. So I, I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm going to just cut not selvage to selvage on the one where I would have to have the directional kind of flipped. And usually she has you do strips, so we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, that is what I am planning on for my next three yard quilt. And I wrote down notes. Oh, the first thing I should have said is I want to thank you all for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. I, uh, I have fun doing them and I hope that I can help in some way somebody struggling with quilting or I also make cards and work with cutting machines and that kind of thing. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. And if there is anything that you want to see, please put it in the comments because I would love to hear that number one gives me ideas. Somebody had a question the other day. Oh, she had asked about um, uh, free motion quilting when I was doing the my granddaughter's Valentine quilt. And she mentioned that she was going to put markings on her quilt to help her follow the lines. And I thought they have chalk and they have stencils and that would be a great tutorial. When I've tried to use the chalk and the, the stencils with the chalk on my Grace Q-Zone, I did not have much success. But with the Grace Q-Zone, you're working with that fabric a lot. You're rolling it up and connecting the little hooks. So the chalk tends to get smeared. Well, on this sit down, I could put chalk on my fabric and I don't think that I would have that smearing problem. So that was a good idea for a video and I didn't write it down. So I have a whole lot of ideas on what to make videos on and you know, a lot of ideas and a lot of projects can sometimes be a little overwhelming. So I'm trying to jot down what my ideas are and then prioritize them. Because how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? And uh, a funny story, I worked with a guy, Sahil. Love you, Sahil. And I said that to him because we had a big project and I said, how do you eat an elephant? one bite at a time and Sahil informed me that he was a vegetarian. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious because I could not think of a piece of fruit or a vegetable that was large enough to have the same impact. So since then I have heard the saying don't try and boil the sea. So I am trying not to boil the sea and I am trying to, like I said, make a list and prioritize it. Mm -hmm. So again, if you guys could tell me what you would like to see, I can say, mm, I don't do that, or that's a great idea. I would love to do a video on that. And I do owe somebody a video on how to thread your machine. And I've actually done the video, but I've never edited it and published it. So it is still on my list of things to do. I haven't forgotten you. I, I said I would do it and someday I will. Um, embellishing your quilts is one of my ideas. A friend of mine was putting Savorsky, Savorsky and I'm sure I am just totally messing up that name, Savorsky crystals on their mask. And I thought, that's awesome. Well then, since then, I thought you could put it on your quilts. And then there's um, a gentleman who's an educator for brother and he puts rhinestones and embroidery and all kinds of embellishments on his quilts. And I thought, that's awesome. So of course, you know, now I want to do that too. Half square triangles, the bread and butter of the quilt making population and 
I haven't done any with half square triangles. I've done half square triangles. I actually have a whole quilt that I did for mystery block of the month all have square triangles. It is amazing how you can create different patterns by just arranging the half square triangles in a particular order. And I think that's awesome. It's something that everybody needs to know. It is, it's a staple of quilt making. So I wanna do a chevron. That's the first one I wanna do is to do a chevron quilt with the half square triangles. And the bigger the block, the better. I like it. I don't, I'm not a real fan of the tedious two and a half inch square or one and a half inch square. I, that's just too small for me. I like big blocks. I like big blocks and I cannot lie. <laughs> so anyway, what is coming up really fast are design team cards that I need to get done. And a friend of mine whose daughter turned six actually on February 14th, she purchased a shirt every year that had the number of her age and then a cute little saying around it. And it was applique. And I've not, I've done a little bit of applique, but not a whole lot of applique. So I want to do, so she asked me if I would make this shirt. I'm like, sure, that would be great. And I will practice on my granddaughter. So hers can say like five and fabulous and the six-year-old could be six and sassy and the four-year-old she shared with me one that she had gotten previously from the company and the company stops making them at the number five so they don't make the number six so she can't get it from them and it had i believe it was like sequins but they were in netting in a tool so part of the four had tool with sequins inside so it would kind of shake and then there was little confetti all around and I think the confetti was embroidered I believe the words some of them were in sequins not done that before so I would probably use vinyl and then again the number was applique so that's going to be my project coming up I think I have to have that done by the middle of March. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that. I'm not a professional at applique. It's not my something that I've done a lot of, but if you want to see me struggle through, I would be more than happy to share that with you. And I think that's it. Um, I do want to do the embellishing. Like I said, the list is so long, but I think the the applique, the next three yard quilt, and the embellishing your quilt will probably be the next three-ish coming up. Unless you all have strong feelings about anything, please, like I said, put it in the comment below. Um, oh, I do have some fabric to show you. That's one thing, that's what I wanna do, my half square triangles. I love rainbow. I don't care if it's pastel rainbow, primary color rainbow, I love the rainbow colors. And I've got several different patterns because if I see them, I buy them because I love rainbow. And then of course, okay, <laughs> this is fabric one in case you, uh, we're going back to the three yard quilt. I'm just, this is me. This is how I roll. I just jump all over the place. So let me, in case you're watching and you watched my three yard quilt tutorial and you were totally confused, this right here with the shamrocks that is fabric one this purple right here this purple and green that is fabric two and this dark green is fabric three so now you know the mystery is solved too late but that's okay okay pastel I mean, how pretty is that? That's not for my rainbow quilt. Now I'm just showing you what I got. Pastel, mm, just love it. And I think I got that actually, cause now my mind always thinks three yard quilt. So I need to buy three of everything because I'm gonna make a three yard quilt. Little bunnies with the pastel colors. This is along the lines of the rainbow, but it's the pastel and it, it matches the bunnies. Easter eggs, because you have to have Easter eggs if you're going to have bunnies. 
Okay, back to rainbow. I mean, is that not gorgeous? I don't know if it would match these two or not. I'm not sure. And we're on St. Patrick's Day. So I've got wood grain. Um, another obsession, wood grain. And animals. How cute are those? I saw somebody, they were making a, they were free motion quilting a quilt that had this pattern. I love that. And this is pretty. Shamrocks. And last but not least, more rainbow with a black background. So that's what I'm thinking about working on. I'm sure there are things that I need to do that um, have escaped me, but they'll come back. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas of what you would like to see, definitely put them down in the comments below. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everybody. Until next time, bye. And of course my dog wants in right now, right this very minute. And Gracie gets whatever Gracie wants, so there you go.